a very good morning to all of you today i will discuss on the topic of function so after watching this video presentation you will be able to know about the function you will be able to know about the function prototype function definition in the function we use also parameter so in this video presentation you will be also know about the formal parameters and actual parameter in the end you will be also know about the function parameter passing technique so let's start with the topic now what is your function in c++ so function is basically a block of code or it is a group of statement that is used to perform some particular tasks the particular task can be addition subtraction division or any other now what are the different parts in function the first part in function is return type the second part of the function is function name the third part of the function which is optional that is parameters and the fourth part is function body for example int sum int a int b so you can see that the first part of function is return type so this is a return type return type specify what value will be returned by the function so this is a function that is function name sum so this function will return integer value now the second part of function is function num so here you can define the function num here i have taken sum uh, the third part is parameter which is optional so here i have taken two parameters that is int a and int b because i want to add two numbers so this is a two variable a and b now the fourth part is function body so within the function you have to write the code so here i can write int c c equal to a plus b then return c so suppose the a value is 5 and b value is 5 the so 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 so this will be stored in this variable c and after that i am returning c that is the sum of these two numbers so this is a integer type so i am returning integer type value so that's why the return type of this function is end so these are the parts of the function now the function types can be two types the first type is without parameter that is without arguments the second type is with parameters that is with arguments for example int sum int a int b so this is a parameter so this is with parameter function if you want to specify without parameter then there is no need to define parameter so int sum so this is a function without parameter now what is a function prototype function prototypes means it is just a declaration of function in function prototype there is no function body now there is another term that is function definition function definition is a combination of function header and function body for example int sum int a int b so this is a 
function prototype that is a function declaration when we want to define function definition it means int sum int a int b so here there is another variable that is int c now c equal to a plus b and return c so this is a function header of function definition and this is a function body so function definition is combination of function header and function body now there is a term that is formal parameter and actual parameter so the variable which are defined in the function definition that is this in the function header of the function definition that is int a and int b so this is a variable formal arguments or formal parameter and there is a one more term that is a actual parameter actual parameters are those parameter arguments or variable which are used in function call so when you call in any function and you are passing some variable then that is a actual parameter for example int main int a comma b so a value is 10 b value is 20 now sum a value is 10 and then 20 so this is a main function so in the main function this function is called this function name is sum so sum function is called so here uh, there is a parameter that is 10 and 20 so it is a actual parameter uh, here i can write also a and b so this is a actual parameter so actual parameters are those parameters which are used in function call so when you call any function and you are passing the value so this parameter is known as actual parameter now here i have to use define function that is int sum int a int b so this parameter is known as formal arguments so the formal parameters are those parameters which are defined in the function header of the function definition and actual parameters are those parameters which are used in the function call. So when you call this function, so a value which is 10 and b value which is 20 is copied in this variable a and 20 value will be copied in this variable b. So this is the actual parameter and formal parameters. Now I will discuss about parameter passing technique. So there are three types of parameter passing technique. The first type is call by value. The second is call by reference. And the third is call by address. So these are all parameter passing techniques. In call by value, there is a two important points in this the first part is it copies the value of actual parameters into into formal parameters in second part no changes is reflected in actual parameter whenever there is any changes made in formal parameter it means that 
whenever you change any value of the formal parameters or you make any modification in the values of the formal parameters then there is no changes in the actual parameters now in call by reference the first point is that it copies the reference of the actual parameters into formal parameters and the second point is that the changes made in formal parameter will be reflected in actual parameter so whatever you make any changes in the formal parameter it will reflect in the actual parameter now in call by address the first point is that it copies the address of the actual parameters into formal parameters and the second point is that the changes will be reflected in an actual parameter whenever there is a changes made in formal parameters video lecture you have understood what is a function function prototype function definition formal parameters and actual parameter difference and there are three parameter fashion technique that is call by value call by address call by reference in call by value it copies the value from actual to formal and if you make any changes in formal then it is not reflected in actual parameter in call by reference you pass the reference of the actual parameter into formal but you make any changes in formal parameter then it is reflected in actual parameter and in call by address you pass the address of the variable into formal parameter and if you make any changes in the formal parameter it is reflected in the actual parameter so that's all for today thank you